Good morning everyone, this is another session on astrology and in this video we will be trying to understand the fifth house and also how to determine about you know uh, the prospects of child, the prospects of a male or a female child and things like that. We will be trying to analyze that in this video into slightly more detailed uh, way. Also herein I would uh, like to say that there are a lot of rules and combinations in order to be more precise and exact as to how fifth house exactly works. One has to also uh, understand that fifth houses and fifth house law they are considered very auspicious because they form the trichona. Okay, they form the trichona. Trichona is nothing a triangle. One fifth and the ninth house are considered uh, very very good. Now, the, for for the ones who are watching this video for the first time, uh, we have to understand that in astrology you always come across such a chart, which is called as your horoscope, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve houses, or twelve parts which are referred to as houses. Then they have the signs in them. These are referred to as the signs. In that, I want to talk about this location, which is the fifth house. Now, why fifth house is very important? Because it tells about your child, it tells about prospects of the child, it tells about a lot of things about the child, even it can tell about the child's personality as well. So, now, the most important point, uh, the the factors we have, which we have to look in for is the fifth house, the fifth house lord, the fifth house sign, and the planets that are present in the fifth house so these are the important things we, which we have to look for now let us go with only the fifth house suppose in the fifth house good planets are present now, by good planets i mean let's say jupiter okay say jupiter venus or moon is present okay uh, so what happens is that when such good planets are present in your fifth house itself they indicate towards good you know a good child or they indicate towards a uh, you know a healthy child. So fifth house, if it has the planets Jupiter, Venus, and Moon, is considered very auspicious. And uh, you know further, if fifth house sign is also say, see fifth house has the sign of Cancer and Moon is present. And that's brilliant, okay? Because Moon is first of all very good for the fifth house. Further, it is present in its own sign. On same lines, if your fifth house is say Taurus and Venus is present, then that's also good. But one thing one has to understand that Venus and Moon are femaleish, uh, you know, are femaleish uh, planets. So what happens is that when Venus and Moon are present in the fifth house, okay, when Venus or Moon are present in the fifth house, it can indicate towards a child which has more female qualities or maybe a female child itself. Okay, so the probability goes higher whenever Venus and Moon starts in getting involved with the with the fifth house but there are more things to it okay the fifth house sign also becomes important okay see these are the set of signs the 12 signs so aries is considered to be a male sign okay and then alternatively this becomes female this is male again this chain continues okay so if your fifth house sign okay now let me uh, put it uh, more clearly okay okay fine now if the fifth house sign is a female sign okay and also the planet is female then there are definitely very high chances of a female child let's say a fifth house sign is the sign of cancer okay and moon is present here now what happens is that the fifth house sign is itself a female sign and the fifth house uh, and the moon is also present here so that can mean that you know a child which will be uh, you know a child will be expected to be having a lot of feminine qualities and might be a female itself now if the fifth house is having more of a male uh, male planet okay say jupiter and it has a male sign as well okay let us say the sign of sagittarius so what happens in that case there are uh, high chances of the child being the male child so that is one way of looking at it first the fifth house sign second the fifth uh, the planets that are present in the fifth house now there can be a situation when in the fifth house okay now we are taking situation number two okay in situation number one some planets were placed in the fifth house okay and also the fifth house uh, sign uh, we knew now in the second case suppose there are no planets present in the fifth house okay and then in that case you have to go with the fifth house sign okay and the placement of the fifth house lord 
okay now if the fifth house sign again is a female issue one and the fifth house lord okay now let us take an example let's say the fifth house is 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 let's say uh, let's say it is taurus okay let's say fifth house is taurus okay fine so fifth house sign is taurus so that is a female sign and then you have to look into the placement of the fifth house lord okay so the fifth house lord automatically becomes venus okay so you have to look into the into the sign uh, where venus is placed okay if venus is further placed in a female sign okay so if the fifth house is a female sign which is the sign of taurus and the fifth house lord which is venus in this case is also present in a female a female sign say it is present in the sign of cancer just an example so what will happen again the prospects of a female child will increase but if the fifth house sign is a uh, taurus but the fifth house lord uh, is present in a male sign then things uh, can be uh, a bit uncertain in that case then we have to go in for more things or more factors okay so again we looked into fifth house we looked into the fifth house sign we looked into the planets that are placed in the fifth house and then we also looked into the placement of the fifth house lord now further if the fifth house lord okay if the fifth house lord okay is placed in the sixth eighth and twelfth house and that's not considered good so in this case the fifth house was the sign of taurus and if venus so the lord fifth house sign lord is venus if venus was present in the house number six eighth and twelfth then that's not considered a very good situation because sixth eighth and twelfth are known as the malefic houses so if venus in this case uh, or in case of any fifth house lord if placed in sixth eighth and twelfth houses then that's not considered good okay now the fifth house sign lord which in this case is venus okay the fifth house sign lord generally if it is a maleish planet then you can expect a male child if it is a femaleish uh, planet you can expect a female child but again uh, to be more precise you have to also look into the placement of the fifth house lord as well we'll be going into that in in a, in a while but again see another important significator of child is jupiter okay jupiter plays a crucial role okay jupiter is considered uh, you know also for a child now we don't want jupiter to be present first of all in the 6th 8th and 12th houses we want jupiter to be very very stable okay so jupiter should not be present in the 6th 8th or 12th houses if it is present then there can be some kind of a problem with respect to child or uh, child bearing things like that we'll be going into that in a while but 6th uh, jupiter should not be placed in the 6th 8th and 12th houses also some people consider moon as a uh, very important for child birth as well so moon also should not be present in 6th 8th and 12th but again uh, there can be a position when moon and jupiter are together placed in the 6th house the moon and jupiter are both are good and their combination is good but because they are present in the 6th house we can expect some kind of maleficency coming in so uh, you know 5th house the 5th house lord the 5th house sign jupiter and moon uh, are tending to will keep telling you about the child now let us take another important aspect now the 5th house and the 9th house kind of complement each other okay 5th house and the 9th because they form the trikon okay the 1st 5th and the 9th house and 5th and 9th house kind of complement each other let's say your 5th house lord okay if the 5th house lord is present in the 9th house and that's very good okay fifth house lord we don't want it to be in the sixth eighth or twelfth houses but if it is present in the trikon house that is house number nine and one or kendra house that is four seven and ten except four because four is not considered very good so if the fifth house lord fifth house sign lord is present in ninth house or any of the trikon or kendra houses except four then that's also considered very good okay now suppose you're you know Uh, uh the fifth house sign is say taurus and the lord is venus and suppose venus is present in the ninth house then that's considered very good 
but they can be mixed results say uh, in this case as well say say a position has come where in the fifth house okay in the fifth house the sign of taurus is present okay and the ruler venus is present in the ninth house now this is very good okay because the fifth house lord is present in the ninth house we can expect brilliant children but let's say the jupiter jupiter is placed in the sixth house now this is kind of a contradictory situation we don't want jupiter to be in sixth and eighth and twelfth but again the fifth house lord is present now in such cases okay in such cases one has to realize that jupiter is not that negative in next sixth house Okay, Jupiter is not that a negative planet, whereas the fifth house and the ninth house are Trikona houses, one of the strongest houses, and in this case, the positivity will take over, and what will happen is you can expect very good children. Okay, because the fifth house lord itself is present in the ninth house, though there can be some difficulties because Jupiter is present in the sixth house, but in totality, the fifth house and the ninth house energy of the Trikona will take over the uh, the reduced effect due to Jupiter in the sixth house. Also, it's important to understand that the fifth house sign should not be the sign of Virgo, Aries or Leo as they are considered as dry signs and one should not have them. But in any case, if that is the case, you have to look into other factors as well. So hopefully in this video, you under, you got few more insights about how to go about child, how to look in for child from astrological chart. We'll be going into more points in the further videos. For now, these are just the basics. I'm Shwetank into astrology. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.